Um, were you there? Were you were you there before? I don't think you were. Oh, who's your poor monkey friend? He is he all right? He looks a little under the weather. If I were you, I'd envy him. If I were me, I'd envy him as well. How do you commit suicide when you got no heart to stop, no hands to wield the chainsaw? I don't... He wasn't there before, was he? I'm pretty sure he wasn't. I was either hallucinating before by not seeing him, or I'm hallucinating now. Or he just walked here and then killed himself, but that seems unlikely because it looks like he's... Looks like he's been dead for a long time. Are those creatures still around? Alright, it's time to go to the computer room, which is... Where is it? This way? This way. No, that... Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that is the right way. Okay. I have a delivery for you. It has been precisely 12 days, 11 hours, 39 minutes, and 12.4 seconds since something good last happened. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, fuck, it's locked. Probably because of the power surge. I don't remember what to do here. Okay, okay, I'm safe. I'm, I'm safe. There's a power surge. Um, I might be able to do something with the power in... Oh god, he's coming. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There's power stuff in here. 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 Okay, I can't do anything with it though. Oh god. Hide behind the door. Hide behind the door. Damn it, I can't fit it back there. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think I think I I think I know what to do. Yes. Yes. I remember what to do. I know what to do. Hey, you fucker. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. My congratulations. Honestly, I mean it. Well done. 
I was only joking about the come get him thing. <laughs> what say we celebrate with some nice, relaxing cyanide, huh? I'm sure I saw some anthrax lying around as well. <laughs> no thanks. I think I'd prefer some electroshock therapy. Okay. Oh, I bet there there's probably cards inside of his room. Where's his hand? There's the saw, but... Wait, what? What is that? That's not his hand, that's a blob. I mean, I already have a hand, I guess I didn't need his hand. Why, why did I even need his hand? I already have one. I'm, I don't know, I'm confused about that. There's something not right with these artifacts. Something wrong, but something irresistible. Ah, I see you. Blue card, red card, and where's the other one? <laughs> They're obviously trying to hide something here, come on. Looks like everything. It won't boot. The screen fills up with error messages. There must be some way to fix this. Alright, let's go have fun with computers. Alright, which one's which? I think green is boot, right? Actually, I think this would tell me, right? Yeah. Or... No, 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 red is boot. Red is blue, boot, blue is network, and green is interface. I should write that down. Got it. No card was found in slot. Okay, so how does this work exactly? I can put one card in at a time. And I can load programs. Does it matter which order I do this in? What? Let's take a look at our notes here. Let's see. Program count. What does that mean, program count? How many programs that it has? Whoa. Okay, I can hear him screaming in the room. I was worried there's someone someone else coming. Circuit card compatible programs. Um I don't I don't really know. Let's just let's just put in the boot one and see what happens. Boot is red. Compile, what the hell is this? Alright, well that's gotta be in it. I imagine that's probably in it. Um, hold on. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Boot allows three. So am I just matching the program with the... How does this work? I don't really know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm... Am I loading stuff into the circuit, but then where do I put... Oh, I load it into the circuit, and then I put it back here, don't I? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Right, so there's three for the boot. Collates basic disk drive and hardware configuration data. Three. Three. 
So, hardware locator. Uh, circuit setup, disk info setup, and hardware locator. That's gotta be it. Yeah, the two setups and the locator. That's for the boot. Compilation was successful! Yay! Okay. Let's do network next. Network has five. Security protocols, okay. That's probably just the next five, right? Firewall, mm, antivirus, yep. Command interface. Actually, no, that would not be part of it. I could probably figure this out on my own. All right, it's got five. Oops. What the hell? Human life is so banal. Is it always as monotone as this? I can't stand it. Let me out. I would love to, but unfortunately, I'm stuck with you. All right, so there's going to be five things. Of course, there's going to be a firewall and an antivirus. And a soccer protocol. What others? The other one's the interface. Right? Yeah. So that's not going to be in it, of course. Net locator would have to be in the network. What's the fifth one? What is the fifth one? Command? No. Interface? File, st file streamer would be interface... No, that'd be network. Hmm. Admin tools? What's wrong? Network, network. Network. That has to be the network, so what's wrong? Is it this? Alright, fuck it all. Fuck you! Advanced communication drivers to allow access to any local intranet or hub network. So it's got security. Security comes with two. So that leaves three more I need. I need communication. I think some of these overlap, don't they? I believe these overlap. Alright. Communication drivers. And security. Communication drivers and security. No. 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 Communication drivers, so socket protocol. Got it. Firewall, of course. Fire yeah, those go, those go without saying, so I need two more. Interface, that would have to be the interface one, net locator. Net locator is uh, another one, of course. So I need one more. I've got um, socket protocol and network locator, and then of course the two security related ones. So, file streamer? Is that the next one? File streamer? Install drivers for accessing files. No, that's this one. Server and file access. So what am I missing? There's, I'm missing one. I do need all five, right? It's gotta be. Required installation to get any program running, so I always need circuit setup, I guess. That's the the fifth one. I didn't realize that. So circuit setup, socket protocol, at locator, and the securities. Okay, got it. That's the one I was missing. I wonder if I can do this. Okay. Yeah, for some reason these are so heavy that when you press throw, it doesn't actually throw it, really. It goes like two inches. Let's try this. Nope. 
I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna be MLG's network security card thing installation er. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Uh And this last one I can probably just do on my own. That's um, interface, yep, and it has four programs, so of course it's going to have this one, it's going to have the file streamer, and the admin tools, and command interface. Got it. Whoops. Calm down, card, calm down. And I should restore this computer to working state. Okay. Door lock controller, hello. Ooh, door ID, I have that written down. 3061. Door is now unlocked. Current operations and international work. Ooh. Dot pick. Dot pick is not a real format, but I'll roll with it. Oh. That was back in Penumbra Overture. <laughs> That's the tomb. read about the tomb. Primary excavation, Turngat Tomb. Project lifespan, March 3rd, 2000 to present. Chief Overseer Wilbur Frisk. Previous nature, excavation. Current nature, Xeno Research. Background. The primary excavation site is the central pursuit of the Archaic at Shelter Greenland. The site lies beneath the shelter facility and, as of 2000, has been underway for almost 25 years. On March 3rd, 2000, a tomb was discovered current purpose, understanding the tomb and its contents. Findings. The bulk of work is the responsibility of the language team, i.e. Chief Translator Howard Lafresque. His findings so far are, are as follows. The tomb was the home of some form of ancient organism. The organism may have been quarantined. The term Turngat is derived from Inuit legend, legend concerning evil spirits. Lafresque recommends immediate suspension of primary excavation operation. Expenses. Man weeks, approximately 27,396. Materials, approximately 53 million. Scheduled operations as of April 27th, 2000. Tomb investigation, May 1st, 2000. A team will unseal the tomb for standard series probe tests. Operation opposed by Howard Lafresque. Op opposition overruled by Wilbur Frisk and scheduled for May 1st, 2000. Final status? Open. What a mistake that was. They have a lot of money. Apparently they spent $53 million in materials alone. Water Cave. Secondary Excavation Site B, Water Cave. Project Lifespan, December 5th, 1990 to February 20th, 1992. Elevated Cast, Signatory, Elof Carpenter. Nature, Excavation. Purpose to locate and retrieve Xeno evidence and artifacts in support of main site activity. Personnel, elevated cast, zero. Project not deemed critical enough for elevated presence. Chief attending chemist, Troy L L Rutinesk, replaced September 12th, 1991 with Neil Oswald. Inexcusable conduct. Findings. December 8th, 1991, substance 63. Confirmed as the primary material used in construction of the Persona Tardis artifacts, and the first new non-periodic table substance to be discovered by the Archaic for 18 months. Wait, you're telling me only 18 months ago they found an element that wasn't on the periodic table? Holy crap. Wow. January 6, 1992. Artifact 66B. Another artifact discovered, and effects cataloged. Research teams continue to flail at a per <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just created a hilarious mental image in my mind. I just imagine somebody flailing about their arms like the wacky inflatable tube man thing you see at, like, car sale places and stuff. Research teams continue to flail at a purpose for these mechanisms. All symptoms manifested by research teams in contact with the artifact conform to our initial hypothesis regarding their nature. Expenses. Man weeks. 
519. Materials, 12,192. Medical, 39,000. <laughs> they spend more in medical costs than materials. Casualties. Industrial accidents, 3. Below archaic, uh, below archaic acceptable max. Exhaustion, 13. Fatalities, 2. Additional notes. Report filed concerning a potential saboteur following multiple mechanical losses and thefts, particularly of radio equipment. Theory. Dehydration as a cause of exhaustion, leading to misconduct. Debunked. Theory. Missing miner Tom Redwood, still within mining facility. Open. <laughs> Final status. Closed. Hostile local fauna levels uneconomic. Unecon... I think that meant uneconomical, as in... The hostile local fauna is so much that it's not economical to continue to investigate it. As constantly entertaining as it might seem to have access to memories one has no recollection of receiving, it also places me in somewhat of a predicament. This saboteur, for some reason, he conjures in my mind the color red. What a strange thing. I had the same thought, almost as if we're the same person. Hmm. Greenland site. Shelter Research Station, Greenland. Project Lifespan, April 1st, 1973 to present. Report filed by Founding Overseer Bren Stafferson. Report updated by Chief Overseer Wilbur Frisk. Nature, Excavation and Research Facility. Background. In January 19th, 1973, the archaic central cast becomes aware of a large-scale industrial accident at a remote mining complex in northwest Greenland. The accident coincides with local reports, dated over a period of decades concerning abnormal animal behaviors and growth, high suicide rates, and unusual events within the mine itself. These reports centralize over the precise location of the mine collapse, itself reportedly caused by a crazed miner. Xeno activity is suspected, and a full investigation sanctioned. Purpose, to locate and retrieve Xeno evidence and artifacts. Initial personnel, elevated cast, 7, chief staff, 5, lower cast, 51, temporary, 25, total population, 88. Operation. After two years of construction, shelter is now practically self-sufficient, eliminating many issues surrounding archaic privacy concerns, concerns threatened during the construction phase by the much increased sea freight required. Oh, I remember seeing, um, there was, uh, there was a newspaper report, I think it was in Penumbra Overture. Where somebody talked about seeing a lot of, a lot of freight, a lot of uh, ships at sea, moving about, right? Huh. I like the consistency in the story. That's pretty cool. Shelter operates with a skeleton crew of research staff, supported by a small crew of maintenance and general care personnel. An elevated cast presence of reasonable magnitude is warranted by the potential value of any discoveries. Unskilled labor and resource management is outsourced to discrete local villagers. Plans to adapt more than a fraction of the old mining complex to archaic needs have been abandoned, and work is now commencing on the excavation site immediately below the facility and within half a mile of the 1973 explosion site. Security level. Highest priority. According to standard procedure, all documentation concerning that the facility was destroyed upon construction. All those that know of the facility's existence either work within the facility or are of no great concern. The facility can sustain itself with only minor reliance on local settlements. The facility, for all intents and purposes, does not exist. This presents only minor practical annoyances. Findings. Substance 53, 63, and 70 through 73. Persona Tardis Artifacts, 27. Now believed to be somehow related to the contents of the recently discovered tomb. Finis Specialis Artifacts, 10 of little real value to the archaic, but for some reason of great collectible value to the lower castes. <laughs> that has to be the collectibles that I've been finding, of which I think I've found two. <laughs> great collectible value to the lower caste. I like that, that's funny. Turngat Tomb. Expenses? Classified. Final status? Operational. International work. Other research sites. Oh god, there's more. File was corrupt. Could not open. Hmm.
All right, well, I just opened door 3061, only the problem is I don't remember where that door was. This is residential. The Archaic asks that viral biologists do not take their work home with them. That would be especially important if you are a viral biologist, yes. Remember, don't take your viruses home with you. Don't infect your loved ones. Thank you, and have a nice day. What was locked? Something was locked. Storage? I don't remember. Let's, um, let's try this hand. I should take care of the palm print. Now I just need something for the eye scanner. <laughs> Great. Now I need someone's eyes. Oh, wait, was it... I think it was the infirmary. Yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. That actually kind of scared me. I didn't think it would open automatically. I thought it was a level transition. Oh no, it is. Alright, well I think it's a safe bet I'm gonna find somebody's eyes in the infirmary. Yep. There's something under there? Hmm. It looks like the mattress was propped up. Emergency wristband, what is that? A wristband with a small box on it. I wonder what use it could have. I, just, I think I just put it on. I did. Hmm. I equipped it. Ew. It's a toilet. <laughs> yes, it is. What is that? No, I can't read it. I can't even remember the last time I had some time to relax in front of a TV. What is that noise? Oh, maybe it's a video chat. It probably is. Hold on, what's around here? Cryo chamber. Am I going to be unfreezing somebody? Am I going to be, like, taking somebody's head and using that for the iris scanner? I bet I am. The door to a cryo chamber in infirmary is locked. The screen reads, non-human sample. Insert new sample and try again. Oh god. Because I'm infected, I'm not even human, according to the scanner. Either it's hardly been used, or it's been well cleaned. What is that? What is that showing? I'm no expert, but there are some strange spots on the spinal x-ray, yeah. Hmm. It's locked. Looks like there's some interesting things in there. There we go, that fixes that. Bottle of viscase somnus, what the hell? It's some kind of chemical. Alright, um, let me... Let's look at the computer before I read that, because otherwise the beeping's gonna annoy me to all hell. Christ, you look worse than the last time I saw you. Though maybe you're just at a higher resolution. 
Oh, damn it. Note to self, never insult your last hope of survival. I just wanted to give you a word of advice. Those creepy artifacts, we don't know how they work. Or even what they do, I suppose. We, well, I saw someone get too close to one once. You probably don't want to know. I'm sure you'll be fine. Probably. I hope. But by the way, if you happen to find yourself in my neck of the woods, I'm kind of trapped. It's no big deal, really. Just throwing it out there. Oh, no. That's hardly true. They're really completely harmless. Go on, it's just like wrapping yourself up in a warm blanket. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's read some probably horrible and horrifying reports. On chemical tests. Well, let's do patient report first. Ah, uh, file was corrupt, could not open. Okay, chemical tests. Oh, there's the viscase somnus. I guess I'm going to figure out what it does. Hmm. Standard series chemical tests. Subject, primate, chimpanzee. Chemical. Temezapan. Result, as expected, the subject displays symptoms of relaxation and lethargy. Chemical. Lysergic acid, diethylamide. Uh, results, much akin to previous work with felines, the chimpanzee shows no ability to cope with the chemical stimulant. No ability to cope, what does that mean? It just died? Alright. Viscase omnis. Following injection, the subject's heart rate slows to such a rate that, for all intents and purposes, it appears dead. In truth, heart rate, heart rate has dropped to incredibly a safe level, and the subject recovers soon after. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be nearly killing myself. Great. That sounds lovely. Tetra... hmm... Tetrahydrocannabinol? Can, canab... cannabinol? Cannabinol? This chemical is held to be an entirely, entirely safe in moderation and produces a relaxation effect in the subject. It remains to be seen whether long-term exposure leads to mental health risks. Is that just cannabis? Cannabinol? I think that's just pot. I'm pretty sure it's marijuana. This primate is worn out. Please consider this an official requisition order for future test subjects from the mainland. That is horrible. Just test all these chemicals on one primate until it's worn out and used up. Ugh. Okay, so I could slow my heart rate, but what good would that do? Your mind space is muddled as a lime. See here, A is for alliteration. B is for bohemian. C is for carcin carcinog carcinogen carcinogenic. So many long words taking up space in my new home. Here, let me do a little spring cleaning. Please, please don't. Yeah, you didn't need the periodic table, did you? <sighs> God damn asshole. All right. What if I use the hand? The screen reads, subject critically ill, please contact medical medical staff. Okay. So, wait a minute. Is the cryo chamber meant for the administra- Is that meant for people that are near death so they can be kept alive? What does it say? Something's anti-corruption stance hangs in balance following accusations? I don't know what the hell that's about. So maybe if I nearly kill myself, it'll admit me in because... It'll think I'm trying to keep myself alive or something? Or like somebody's taking a body into there to preserve? I, I guess. Um, can I do this? I filled the syringe with the substance from the chemical jar. Here we go. I'm not feeling too good. 
Non-human sample. Insert new sample and try again. Um, I don't think that's gonna help. I don't. I don't think that was the right time to do that. Okay, I'm not really sure what good that did. Wait. What? Why why is it letting me in now? Okay. small cryo chamber. Huh. Looks big enough for a head. Yort Industries. Subject ID, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so these are frozen people. The meter reads minus 200 degrees Celsius. That's cold even for this place. I wonder if there's anything in there. Maybe I'm better off not knowing. A cryogenic freezer. Yep. Should I even ask why someone has this? Oh, oh, oh. What the? What? He has a very stretchy neck. Oh, no, no, come back here. Oh, I got him. That was weird. I guess it's all over for this guy. At this point, I don't really care. I guess I have everything I need to get to to get to the library. To the library we go. Howard's last known location. What was that? My screen just... Um, something's wrong. My screen just shifted. I think something just happened to my mind. Sworn we remembered there being a door here before. How Fuck you. queer! What's in that direction? Oh, silly old me. I haven't got any hands to point with, have I? No, not that way. You sure you know where we're going? Didn't we pass the door just back there? I hate you, Clarence. Oh, look, it's you here now. See? You silly Billy, it was here all along. Would you like Uncle Clarence to take the steering wheel for a while? <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> this is actually gonna be fun. Perhaps I won't get you killed after all. I should see my face. You realize you are me, right? If I can't see my face, you can't see my face either. I'd picked up some baggage on the way, but finally I was close to my goal. I was sure answers lay beyond that door. There were answers I should have set out to find when I received my father's letter in 2000. Why did I wait a whole year to come here? Whoa. This is very fancy looking. Large clock. The science station, class A-307, the shelter, residential area 4. So many books. Oddly enough, it's a whole section of detective novels. Physics and maths. The 
The Turngat. These belong to them. I feel less here. I'm slipping. A note with some odd scribbling on it. I can't hey, read it. I can read this. Guess your old buddy Clarence comes through for you again, eh, monkey. Do you want to know what it says? Do ya? Do ya? I'll bet you do. I say, can you feel a draft? What? What are you talking about? I, I, even if he actually translated it, I wouldn't trust a single word he said. Where is it? Where did it go? Hmm. You don't take the hint, do you? Why don't you set that investigative brain of yours to on for a change? How about a good read? My brain is on. Fuck you. Some well-thumbed linguistic books. Nature. Do you feel a draft? What the hell does that mean? For all the crappy, cliché films you've got bundled up in here, you sure don't recognize a classic mechanic when you see one. Nope, I guess I don't. Draft. Oh, I hear a draft. I hear a draft. Let me guess, it's behind a bookshelf. Coming from right about here. Ah, a book that stands out. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's dead. Is that Howard? If he hasn't started to smell, give him the kiss of life. Howard. Father. I... somehow knew it would end this way. Why did I come here? There he is. The person I've been searching for this entire time. He had to have been working on something in here. Let's see what he's left behind. Alright, that opens the door. Turngat Virus, Sentience Conclusions, Howard Lefresque. Since leaving the last bastion of humanity in this place behind, it has become clear that my faith was well placed. My conclusions were correct, and it is only that which has brought me this far. It has taken me some time to make my way through the infected area of the shelter, and with the observations I have made, my prior discovery seems all the more obvious and vital. The infected humans communicate with one another. Similar, if simpler communications, communication is observed in infected creatures of all species. Oh, yeah, similar, if simpler communication is observed in infected creatures of all species. At times, the infected seem to coordinate without clear line of sight, telepathy. Despite a catatonic appearance, the infected are quite capable of high-level brain functions. Their problem-solving abilities at times seem to far outstrip those of a healthy human being. When separated, the creatures lose this intelligence, indicating some form of communal or central intelligence. Conclusion: The intelligence displayed is of such a level that we can only assume the communal mind is also rational. 
It is this conclusion that has formed the backbone of my recent endeavors. Though the infected may wander around like mindless, for want of a better word, zombies, they are no more stupid than a worker bee. Automatons, yes, but far from stupid. In short, I believe the central intelligence might somehow be communicated with, bargained with. Communication, however, is most likely impossible once infected, unless there was a way to subdue the infection for long enough to contact the hive. There must be a way to find peace. Today, I communed with the Turngat mind. I was correct. It is intelligent, beyond our wildest imagination. It told me everything. Everything I needed to know. You cannot imagine it. I cannot accept it. God forgive us. Diddums, Daddy popped his clogs. Bull bleeding who? Get on with it, will ya? Something tells me I'm going to be communicating with the Turngad very soon. How did he do it? How did he talk with the Turngat? I barely even thought about my father's death. I guess I wasn't expecting to find him any other way. I was determined to complete his work, find an answer to the infection, and then contact the Hive. Where are we now? Some sort of a cave. Whoa. Oh god. Not the freaking gray rock rockworms again. What did he jot down? Howard's final words. Is that what he... No, he said he jotted down something, but there's nothing here. Hmm. It's an old concrete pipe, probably used in the sewer. Well, I can guess that I need to get to the top, but how? You know, with those seismic vibrations, I sure hope those stalactites don't fall on my head. There's a large wooden board. Alright, so I gotta climb up. Can I get that to come down? The ladder is out of my reach. Um, it looks like it's connected to that. Need a little bit more. Oh no! Oh! Ah. A very precarious tower of boxes here. Yep. What if I built that against this post? That's a good idea. Okay. This is like a physics play gym. Really heavy, but I think I can move it. Fuck? Um, I, I mean, uh, good. Yeah, 
Uh, more monkeys for the incinerator. Shut up. Was someone playing Gary's mod up there? His throat is practically gone. Poor guy, looks like a nasty death. Like, what the, What? That was comical, I'm sorry, but that was really comical. It's like someone just threw a... A dummy. It's, it's like really bad B-movies where you see someone falling to their death, and they obviously just used a dummy. A really bad dummy. You can see that, like, the proportions aren't the same, it looks like shit, and it's not weighted properly, and it flails around like crazy. Like, that's what that was kind of like. Or, it was laughably absurd, it's like someone just pushed a body over the edge just for the fun of it. I don't know if that was supposed to be disturbing, but it wasn't. Oh crap. Where's the rungs? I can't reach the top plateau from here. Ooh. That... I... I don't, I don't think this is really a natural geological formation, but, um, I'm not gonna complain. You know, it really is quite amazing. You monkeys and your problem solving. How do you manage it with such small, singular brains? Isn't it terribly quiet not hearing the thoughts of every one of your brothers? No, not at all. Someone wants to video chat. Where is this computer even getting its power from? It's not even plugged in. You came! I guess I didn't really expect you to bother. My lab partner's such a pessimist. Was such a pessimist. It kind of rubbed off on me. He tried to make it through to me not too long ago. I guess he's a bit late for the party. You'll have to make a quick detour over the surface next. But be careful. If the cold doesn't kill you, well... Let's just say I didn't pick the safest of locales for my last-ditch survival attempt. Okay, good news. Um, good news, good news. Oh yeah, I think I've got a cure. Well, it's not really what you'd call a cure-cure, but it should be enough to help you. I don't think I'm infected. I was careful, but I guess if you come rescue me and I'm looking at you like you're a roast chicken, I got it wrong. Sorry, that probably wasn't funny, was it? No. I suppose not. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yeah, yeah, cures, rescue, saving the world, all so cliché, all so ridiculous. Do you really think you're doing the right thing? Your morality is just a lasting stain left behind by religion. I get to go out onto the surface. Yay, I'm gonna freeze to death. I can already hear the wind. I already feel cold, even though I'm not out in it yet. Construction's file was corrupt, could not open. That's fun. Let's do another one. Ah, physics. A cure. I had my doubts by then, but I didn't have much choice. I resolved to find Amabel and put things right. Okay, I'm gonna freeze to death. Shelter, shelter, shelter. I'm not actually cold, you understand? I'm just trying to make you feel better. Very inefficient thing, your brain. Gives off lots of heat. A spray can with flammable content. Okay, I just need a lighter. Yeah, I am freezing to death. Literally, I am freezing to death. What's around here? What's around here? Okay, that goes... Okay, there's a lot of things around here. Um, does this work? It's completely frozen. Ice is jamming the mechanics. Okay. Am I hurt yet? Oh, I am... Yep, I'm definitely taking damage. Oh, great. Wonderful. Now, if I were you, which arguably I am, I'd be asking myself in a gormless sort of voice, did that bridge really collapse, or is my good friend Clarence just playing an hilarious jape? 
The answer, monkey man, is that I don't even know myself. One way to find out. Please, don't get us killed. I, I'm literally barely even paying attention to what he says. I don't want to trust a single word. I don't want any of his words to influence what I do. Don't trust him a single bit. Can I burn this for extra heat? No. Okay. I'm okay for now. Alright, so I can make some bridges and stuff. But I don't think I need to. I think I saw... So yeah, okay. I could just... <laughs> oh, that doesn't look very pleasant, but... I could do it. What's down here? Ow. Or I could attempt to make a bridge. Would this even reach? No, that's not going to reach. Can I move this? Oh, okay. Maybe it would. I would very much prefer to do that. Alright, I, I guess he's basically heal me, I think. The fire source. Because my damage is from cold. Alright, so I'd definitely prefer to make a bridge over going across that. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, this thing is so hard to move. you doing? I don't know if this is going to work. I need to get warm. Whew. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, unfortunately I can't rotate it at all. Oh, no, 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 that, that is... Holy... What the hell? That thing apparently is... Weighs nothing. It's like a feather. Alright, screw it. Here we go. Yeah, that was faster. <laughs> that was definitely faster. Okay, let's combine this and that. Yeah. Small flamethrower? Mm-hmm. Oh god. Need warmth. Need warmth. Hold on. Actually, let's get this. Let's get this coming over. I feel a lot better now, but I should probably be more careful before rushing out there again. I'm good. Hmm, this charrette. He's plastered all over your mind like a garish wallpaper. He wanted to die and... Barrels filled with gasoline. Okay, I'm going to be doing some explosions here, I think. <laughs> you know, he's kind of humming up the place, if you know what I mean. Weird smell. Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go give you a memory of him a good kicking. <sighs> Alright, so I have barrels of gasoline, a dirty old cloth, which I guess I could use as a fuse. <clears throat> uh, the cloth won't catch fire, I think it needs some preparation. Okay, uh what could I prepare? I guess dip it in mm. Dip it in what?
A large pile of snow and ice. I won't be able, I won't be able to remove it by hand. All right. I'm assuming I need to blow it up. Can I dip it? Oh, what, what the hell? Um, I guess I'll move these out of the way. That was strange. Alright, that one's stuck. It is now floating. Interesting. Um, do I just light it and run? I guess I do. The cloth won't ignite. I need to soak it in something flammable. Um, I need to get covered. I need to warm myself. I'm about to die. What can I soak it in? There's a generator back there. I know there's like a sticky substance. Yeah, there's some dark and sticky material in the barrel, but... It's obviously flammable. But how can I get some? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. What about my alcohol? Hmm. Hmm. There. Soaked in alcohol, the cloth should light easily. Okay. Time to run! That sounded like it worked. Yes, it did. Ah. Warmth. Although with that warmth, there's probably going to some come something more terrible. to-do list. Find this damsel in distress, kill the bad guys, cure infection, save the world. Chances of success? Nil. Chances of survival? Well, you've got old Clarence on board. That should speak for itself. Chances of you buggering things up royally? Almost certain. Oh, God. Kennels. That is not something I want to see. That brings back bad memories. Examination room, chemical laboratory. Where is she exactly? I'd say it's a definite dead end. Um, you realize you could just climb over, right? Like, easily? Incredibly easily? Probably in five to ten seconds? I think you need a sledgehammer for that. Okay. You are where? Where am I? I don't I don't see the symbol. It says where you are. Eh, whatever, I'll figure it out. Research room. Can't go that way? Okay, well, one way to go. Looks like, somebody, looks like somebody shot this place up or something. I wonder what exactly what happened. You know, you turning up here is probably the second best thing to happen to me since I've been down here. I'm reserving first place for when we get out. So, I'm not big-headed enough to think you came all the way here just to rescue me. I wasn't lying, though. I think I've worked out how to disinfect you. But, you probably saw this coming. It's not quite as simple as all that. I had to engage the failsafe on the research rooms to seal myself in here. And that means we need a key card to get me out. One of the personnel, one of the infected ones, tried to get in with a card, but I don't know where he... or where it went. Look, I... I need you, and, well, if you do get me out, I'll give you the biggest hug of your life. Christ! Go here, go there, fetch this, run me a bath. Typical broad, atypical circumstances. You think fate has anything to do with this? Fate is merely the war cry of those too scared to think for themselves. 
screw everything else and screw solving the infection and curing myself. I'm going to do it just for the hug alone. I could really use the hug right about now. Kind of having a bad year. Ugh. A trail of blood leading off. 